The 911 call came in just before 4 o'clock this morning. The caller said there was a man with a gun and he might be breaking into this Wimberley antique store. When sheriff's deputies got here, they didn't see anyone. They started looking around, and that's when the Hayes County Sheriff says they came under attack. They were basically ambushed. There was an individual behind a rock wall beside the roadway, opened fire with a shotgun. The gunman was reportedly hiding about a quarter of a mile up the hill from Gene's Antique Store. Sheriff Gary Cutler says 26-year-old Rocky Miles West fired nine rounds with a 12-gauge pump shotgun, hitting three patrol cars and one deputy. This person is a known person to the Hayes County Sheriff's Department. We've dealt with him on and off for 14 years. West has faced DWI, drug possession, and assault charges. The sheriff thinks it was probably West who made the 911 call. Jean's Antiques was closed for Thanksgiving. The sheriff says one possible scenario is that the threat of an armed robbery was used to lure deputies into a secluded area with no street lights. Shooter was just such a close distance to the cars with a shotgun and uh, it's, uh, it's pitch dark. Today, investigators found shotgun casings scattered around the area, including one in the parking lot of the antique store. There were lights all over the place. Uh, there were helicopters. And so we didn't know what was happening. Owner Petra Drumwright says nothing was taken from her store and there are no signs anyone attempted to break in. Very crazy. Yeah, especially here in Wimberley. Something like that never happens here. Tonight, Deputy Benjamin Gieselman is said to be doing okay after suffering pellet wounds to his legs and upper body. The sheriff says the gunman was found dead after retreating into a wooded area along Ranch Road 12. The sheriff credits recent night fire training for helping deputies deal with the threat. It could end it a whole lot worse. In Wimberley, Betty Cross, CBS Austin News.